Okay, Joe said one of the problems of this horse is he's heavy on the forehand. It's hard to get him to lighten up on the front. And he's built a little downhill. He's a little uh, downhill, which makes it harder for him to use that big, heavy, powerful hindquarters to lighten the forehand. So it's more work for him. We're going to, his name's Skip. We'll go over Skip just the way I did the first horse. See what we see in the way of tightness in the muscles. Little apprehension here, but not bad. So this is just feeling good at this point. They always work their mouth when it feels good. Like I said, the horse that was dead lame just slobbered all over the place. So we don't have a big problem here, do we? It tells us one thing. We don't have a big problem in the rest of the horse. Because this is compensatory soreness. There's no saddle here. Getting his confidence. I felt good up there above, but it's a little touchier down here. And this is a, a natural aversion to somebody getting a hold of their neck, called a predator. He said, that just feels downright good. <laughs> this is part of your deep pressure massage. Cross fiber friction, you can hold pressure, and you can release, then go back to the cross fiber friction, and you do this until the horse won't take it anymore, and then you stop and you hold again. I have made what human physical therapists use for this, called T-handle, in the field of rolfing. That's the kind of massage that I do. And the T-handle lets you push without having your fingers all crooked and everything like mine. <clears throat> use more pressure than you could use otherwise. Okay, now we'll do the little test for spondylitis. There's no natural reaction in the horse here, except a little tiny fly jerk in some horses, and that's all. You see, there's nothing here. Anytime you look at buying a horse, taking a horse in for training, or you name it, this is the first thing you want to do. Or you might be having to overcome more than you bargained for. When a horse does have spondylitis or spondylosis, you have to ride it in collection. It cannot be ridden with head up, back down. It has to be rounded. This loosens problems in the back. It loosens the back. A horse that's had it and will drop three or four inches, that's about a number for four or five in a scale of one to ten. One that drops to the ground is full-blown spondylosis. But <clears throat> when they've had spondylitis, they have calcium deposits in the spinous processes where they've been impinging. When they start moving, when you give them a good saddling situation and the horse starts moving his back, it breaks that loose. You get fluid bumps here, although it's not particularly painful to the horse. So the fluid bumps here are a positive sign if the horse does and has had spondylitis in the past. Okay, now, this very downhill horse when you're riding is not quite so bad when he's up. Take a look at the back, Joe. Mm -hmm. See, and what is surprising is, is it comes up more than that. So we have a straight back horse all of a sudden. This is what you do with good riding, good saddling. Then you don't have what you looked like you had 
just a moment ago. The withers are wide, they're not high. Pinching is very easy on this kind of wither. So he's getting plenty of that. Stirrup strap problem is the worst right here because of this very wide round back. The stirrup straps are hitting him right in there. He doesn't want to stand for that at all. Okay, we'll leave you alone there. Okay. Mm. Whenever a horse is tight, right here on a tricep where it wraps around the ulna, if he flinches right there, it means that the, that the three tricep muscles and one other muscle in this shoulder, along with all the trice, trapezius, rhomboidus, everything else, tight. If he's flinching here, you will have intermittent lower leg lameness. During a show, next day he's fine. This is from saddling, if you see it. Have to ride a lot, but it happened quite a bit. He's not working too hard. <laughs> he carries little riders. Yeah, he's carrying little riders, she said. Okay, that's a good example of a horse that's just really not got a big problem. He's just pinched into withers is all his problem is and running into shoulders. And it's only about a two and a half or two. He's not as bad as uh, the first horse. You, you happy we're through with all that, huh? Yeah, okay. No, you can't bite me. Thank you.